Witham has launched a consultancy practice uh, with ESG. Can you talk about why you're investing in that? Our advisory group is is really leading firm growth today, and we're seeing opportunities selling those advisory services into our clients. Well, one of those advisory services, to me, that's low hanging fruit, is ESG services. And uh, ESG, I spent a lot of time in uh, in Europe. ESG mm-hmm. is like wildfire in Europe in a closely held business market. Uh, here in the U.S., it's been slow to start. Publicly held companies are focused on ESG, sustainability, on reporting where we are today, where we're going to be, where we want to be. Uh, but it hasn't really hit the private sector as it has over in Europe. But we are seeing a lot of momentum in that space today. We're seeing a lot of momentum. I know the AICPA is attempting to own this space by having accountants perfectly positioned to report on where a company currently stands with ESG today, where they want to be, and measuring that process along the road. So we see it as a an emerging growth area for our advisory teams. We're being asked about ESG by our clients, which is the reason why we just literally established an ESG group six months ago. You know, it's emerging here, but it's going to be an expectation, right? It's going to be something it that, will. yeah, investors are really looking for. So I think that's the yeah, exciting that's, place to that's, be. That's, that's exactly it, Andrea. It's being demanded by the investors who are this next generation of investors who, mm-hmm. you know, ESG and sustainability, it's, it's important to that generation. They want to make sure that uh, the companies that they are investing in, the the employers that they are going to work for, have plans in place and that they're concerned about, whether it's the environment, social or governance, whatever it may be uh, in that space, it is now showing up on the radar. So companies are taking action. These publicly held companies are asking our clients to provide them with a copy of their ESG reports or their positions on sustainability. Uh, So and our clients are coming to us saying, what do we do? How do we respond? We don't have an ESG report. We're not doing this today. So opportunities are literally falling into our lap as a result of uh, this, uh, the current economic conditions. And really what an exciting place to be, you know, as uh, as an advisory opportunity, you know, what a great thing to take on, I think. Oh, absolutely. This, you know, I I know for a fact, CPA firms are perfectly positioned to be in this space. Now, what's really cool is that, you know, in a CPA firm, you have a lot of CPAs in tax. You have a lot of CPAs in audit. And our profession was full of lots of CPAs in the past. Well, as firms start to build out their advisory teams, CPAs are not well equipped to uh, solely equipped to provide ESG services to their clients. We have to do it in combination with engineers and other people that understand this space much better than we do. So the really cool part about growing out advisory practices is that the people that uh, are employees within advisory teams in CPA firms are not your traditional type individuals. They're not your finance majors. They're not your accounting majors uh, that have been historic to our profession. So you know, my, my advisory team consists primarily of lots of non-traditional people, non-CPAs that quite frankly want the same opportunities for advancement in the profession that CPAs historically have had. And yeah. I, you know, I continue, I continue to tell firms as I get around the country that we talk to about advisory teams, building out advisory teams is that they're going to look and feel different than, uh, than the people that used to hire in, in a traditional firm and they need to be. Mm-hmm.